Okay guys, today we're going to be making roll bags. Now, uh, roll bags are fish eggs and basically scarving. So, this is generally used for salmon and trout. So today I will be teaching you how to tie them up and then you'll be ready to go. So first things first, to tie a roll bag, you're going to need salmon eggs. Now you can get these from a fish, from a female salmon. Uh, and these work really well for salmon and especially for rainbow trout if you're a real rainbow trout fisherman or steelhead. So, prime colors of netting. Pink, make hot pink, make that. Chartreuse green and white. White only use when the river is clear. These two colors, chartreuse and pink, use when the river is mucky or clear. Never use white when the river is mucky. All right, so today, since the river out here is a bit mucky, I'm not gonna be using the white, so that can go back in my vest. And I will be using hot pink and green. Let's get started. So what you wanna do is you wanna get your eggs. So depending on how big your eggs are, maybe uh, like this egg is about, uh, like that big maybe. I normally tie them in fives and that's what I recommend using if you're gonna go for trout mainly right now it's just trout in the river so uh, actually today I'm gonna do six. So for now cover that up so the stench doesn't get in your house and you also want to use it like a nice paper like maybe just cloth or just clean your tail up after you're done. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your scarving and these are big like, I mean really big. So, you're gonna take it, put it in the palm of your hand, you're gonna take your eggs, and you're gonna do this. Take them, and then you're gonna, you're gonna get them into a ball, like this. See how I got them? And then you're going to twist, not too hard, just so they're snug. So it got the bag still. And then you're gonna need spider wire. This is really stretchy. So take unroll that. Now you wanna go around this maybe six, seven times. I kinda go eight depending on how um how much I want this to stay on. So and you have to make sure you're not too tight but you you got it going on tight. So one, two, three, four five six seven and this you just snap off and you're also going to want a nice pair of scissors or hemostats i use hemostats and then it's going to cut and there you go you got a, yourself a roll bag and i gotta find the spider wire now okay so Spider wire back, he must ask back. So there is your pink roll bag. Now you want to have these in a jar. So here's your jar, toss them in. Now we're going to make the yellow, or the green, sorry. Now you don't want any type of green, you want really bright, like lime green. I call it chartreuse green, a lot of people will. So once again, oh wait, I need the eggs first. See, I'm already forgetting. So we're going to make one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you're going to put your scarving here. Now there's also like these um, square nets. Those work well, but if you want to tie really big bags, you want to get the scarving. So once again. Put them in a ball and make sure, like, like in a nice ball, snug them up, twist or twirl, and then find the end of your spider wire. And that I seem to have a problem doing. So, once again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and snap. 
all wrapped around my hemostats here. Whatever. What you're going to do is you're just going to take it. Cut. There's your green roll bag. Or chartreuse. And there you have it. Two nice roll bags. Now that'll catch lots of fish. You'll get a lot of steelhead on that if they're in there, because mainly, well, rainbow trout, since we don't have steelhead apparently in Ontario, uh, they'll hit that really well. Because if there's a steelhead or a rainbow trout in that hole, they're going to bite it right away, because they're just opportunistic feeders. Salmon, you have to piss them off first. So anyway, guys, uh, hope you enjoyed this. Hope it helped you out a bit. Thanks for tuning in.